Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here in Austin, Texas for the first drive of this vehicle here. What is it? This is the all new 2024 TX350. This particular one is the 350 Luxury. But before we get into this midsize three row SUV with a lot of special touches, let's talk about what's going on here. The midsize SUV segment is changing. Once upon a time, it all used to be about two row SUVs. Now that third row has sprouted up and many people are wanting extra space, but they don't want to go to a full, you know, extended full size version of a vehicle. Well, guess what? Lexus has a new model known as the TX, and this is something where they're going to give you that extra room, but they're going to give you what they feel are all the special Lexus touches. Now, what's fascinating is, is that there's another brand that prides themselves on bringing luxury and high optioned technology to their lineup. Who is that? That's gonna be Mazda with the CX-90, the all new CX-90. So what I wanna find out is, should you go TX or should you go Mazda CX-90? Let's go ahead and let's find out. Right off the bat, the new style. The TX is not on the RX chassis. It actually has its own separate platform to give you a unique driving experience and when it comes to interior volume room. Now at the front of the business, you'll see the way they work with their full LED lighting. And if you compare this to the Mazda CX-90, you'll see the differences. Both use LED lighting in their turn signals, in their daytime running lamps, in their headlights, but what you'll find on the Mazda is a little bit smaller headlight housing. What they did with the TX is actually extend it very sharply into that top body trim. And I think that is something that really is going to separate it from a styling standpoint. Now, as we work our way down, we do have some flat black with LED fog lamps, which is a nice touch. And then as we come across the front, instead of having your traditional grill, Lexus calls, calls this the new spindle body. So what you're gonna find is, is some bright aluminum style finish across the top, and then you have body colored horizontal bars, and then each of these little design elements are gloss metallic black. We do have a forward facing camera, and on the lower portion, you do have full functionality with this lower lip. And if you notice, instead of just making it smooth, I like the little edges that they cut into it to give it some nice style. But when you're looking at the front end of this new Lexus TX, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you like the more kind of sculpted look of the CX-90 or do you like this harder, crisper edge of the TX? Now, as we rise up, of course, you got the Lexus badge, and I like the way the aluminum style finish matches nicely with what's underneath it. You're gonna have a hood, and what's interesting is with the hood design, it's got a nice fold to it, and then it has this high plateau area. Really gives it a bold look without it being too over the top. And you'll notice our black mica color really has a lot of sparkling metal flake in it. Really, really spectacular black finish. It, it, it's unique to where it's not just a gloss black. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working wheel and tire setup? So what you're going to find on this R, this, excuse me, this TX350 is a 22 inch wheel, nice, uh, sort of like a satin steel finish to it. I love the design. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of the tires? 255 on the width, 45 series sidewall. This particular TX is front wheel drive but you can also option, optional all-wheel drive, and you can also get, remember, different engines. And we'll talk more about that when we pop the hood. Everything is body colored. So just like the CX-90, all body color fender opening, and I'm very, very happy to see that. Now, as we rise up, I wanna show you the fender line is really interesting. Look at how you have that top fender line and then it drips into the door panel and then runs down almost the whole side of the vehicle. Gives it a nice, silky, smooth kind of flow from the front to the rear of the vehicle. You're gonna have color matched on the mirror caps. We do have 360 degree cameras all the way around, and they do have a little bit of 
chrome style trim on those mirror caps. You have bright silver roof rails up top that are close to the body. We do have a panoramic sunroof. And what I love is that they took a bucket of the black mica paint and just threw it all over the side of the vehicle. Gives it a nice, cohesive, luxurious design. Notice the belt line, how it curves up into the rear here. The rear quarter window gives it a nice overall style. And then when we come around, we swing around black, around the backside, you can see that butter knife sharpness to the trim as it flares out on the rear pillar and then the tail end of the business. The big zonk is gonna be the wiper. I wish that the wiper would be tucked in, really clean up the back of the Lexus TX, but I'm really digging just the lighting. The badging is really slick without going too over the top and you'll see the TX350 badge. Now, as we drop down, what you're gonna find is it's a very clean finish on the bottom end, no exposed exhaust. Let me know if you think there should be an exhaust finisher or two at the back end, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Lexus TX350. All right, guys, we have the hood popped open. You do have hood struts holding open the hood. Now, if you thought that this was like the old school days where the number in the model name told you what engine was underneath the hood, those days are long gone. This does not have a 3.5 liter V6. What does it have? So your standard engine on the TX is underneath the hood of this one. You are looking at a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four. It's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission, 275 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. The great news is even with this four banger, you could tow 5,000 pounds, MPGs, 20 in the city, 26 on the highway. And like I had mentioned earlier, ours is standard front wheel drive, but you can get optional all wheel drive. Plus you have two other engine choices. You could go 500H F Sport Performance, which is the same engine with electric motors, or you can go with the plug-in, which is a naturally aspirated V6 with an electric motor and direct for all wheel drive. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up, and see it go. All right, guys, we are inside this 20 24 Lexus TX350. Now, the interesting thing is, is that this is not the entry level trim. There is one below this, your standard TX350. This one is the luxury spec. So that gives us a front wheel drive and it's gonna give us some special touches on the interior. If you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I was about to buy a CX90, but I saw the TX commercials on my television when I was watching uh, Monday Night Football. How much is this thing? Very good question. This particular one, the way that it's optioned, is right at $65,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels, what you're gonna find is that two-tone style. Dark chocolate brown with the dark black appointments on the door panel. This has the Mark Levinson sound system. Remember, that's 21 speakers of mind-blowing sound, and you have soft touch material on the armrest with the contrast ditching. Door pocket could be bigger, so maybe just one Whataburger, but you can fit your yeti size bottle in there, which they did that on purpose. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material. I wish they would have used some of this gray trim, but when you go luxury, you're getting that smooth, soft, microfiber suede material, which is a nice touch. All TXs get the 14-inch infotainment system, all the operation you can need, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, throw it in the reverse. Backup cameras are freaking clear as day with trajectory. You got your dual climate control working our way down. Look what we have. Three USB-Cs, a place for your Texas Twinkie, wireless charging, and a compartment with a 12-volt. What I would put in here is you could put two of your favorite Beanie Babies. If you have Peanut, the Beanie Baby, that one is worth like $2,000. Close it up. 
two cup holders. They're removable. You can take them with you. And we have our little electric shifter for our, remember, this is a eight-speed automatic in this vehicle. Love the material, though. The material is fantastic. Open up the doors. You got some felt lining in here, so this is where you could put uh, that crystal boot when you went to your first line, country line dance event with your grandmother. She got you that crystal boot that you really wanted with the little spurs that spun on the, uh, on the edge of the boot. You could keep that in there and it won't get scratched. So that's the good news. Boot scooting to the seats, soft touch material, perforated, the microfiber suede material. You do have, of course, your power seat control. And one thing I wanna show you is they give you this little holder over here. This is for a nice Texas size pickle. So you know how you go to the convenience store, you go to a gas station, they got those pickles in a bag. That's where you'll be easily able to fit two pickles in a bag. Here's a little fun fact. If you're outside busting your butt and you're sweating all over the place and you're feeling dehydrated, open up that bag with the pickle floating around it, drink the pickle juice because guess what? Pickle juice will give you electrolytes. Just like Gatorade, just like Powerade. And here's another little fun fact. At University of Florida, where Gatorade was invented, the football players before Gatorade were drinking pickle juice. Wouldn't want to be around them with their bad breath. But that's the history. And the history is what the history is going to be. Up top, we do have that panoramic massive sunroof goes all the way back. Love the way they have that nice touch. And everybody gets to have some Sunny D sprayed on them. And then to finish it off, you got a digital rear view mirror. So they got you covered technology wise. But why don't you come over here? I wanna get you covered business wise behind the wheel of this TF. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have a little tiny aluminum sill plate. I wish they would have done something a little bit more generous but it's there. You do have your seat controls with that lower lumbar, which is great. I'm six feet tall still. I haven't shrunk yet. Um, and I got plenty of room in here. So I'm feeling great. Steering wheel, like the leather. I like the stitching here. I just wish they would give me some real, see how they did like the simulated stitching? It's not real. I want some real stitching on this horn button, but you got flat black on all the switch gear, paddles to go up and down that eight speed automatic. And then we do have an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel and three memory seats, three memory seat settings. And then of course that 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, lots of good information. Of course you got adaptive cruise control. You have all these different things that you could bring up very, very easily by going through the different modes of this system. Even a compass to keep you in line with where you're supposed to go and a head up display. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that mid row and third row and see how this TX stacks up against the CX-9. All right guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you right now, this is where you're gonna spoil the hell out of your passengers. With this TX, they're just bringing lots of special touches. You'll notice that you'll be able to sit three across on this TX-350. That's gonna help with the more people that you add to your family. Maybe you wake up one morning and you get that call. Hey, you got three kids you didn't even know about. Where are you gonna put them? in this TX. Backs of the seats, soft touch material. You do have large pockets. You could easily put three Bucky's pulled pork sandwiches. Love the command center, especially the way I could adjust my AC controls. You do have heated seats, but no ventilated seats. Let me know in the comment section if that should be a zonk at $65,000. Place for two Twinkies, two USB-Cs, you got your manual security shade, the Mark Levinson sound system, the seats. They do slide. They do recline. They recline a, quite a bit. Plus, if nobody's sitting here, mm, it's soft like a, like a three musketeer, like biting into a three musketeer. Two cup holders. But let the, let's get in that third row and see if it's going to be hell sitting back there in this TX. All right, guys, third row time. And this is where it's at, literally, because this is the big talking point about the TX is just how much room there is. Look at how far that seat goes forward. And then here's my other favorite part. How many times have people tripped on these seat belts that are just dangling around? 
Look at this. Look how smart Lexus is. You could actually tuck it in to this little holder right here. So you just get that, just like that. Mm, look at that. You got a handle to pull yourself in, and on top of that handle is a USB-C. Then you have your power seat controls to actually adjust the rear of the seat. Sitting back here, I got the seat exactly where I was sitting. I got plenty of room. My knees are a little high, but this is awesome for a mid-size three-row SUV. Not even close to the headliner. And I'm telling you, more room than the CX-90. But watch this. You ready? I don't know why I had to do that. But I did it. Mm. Electric tilting rear seats. Now, the thing I really love is, look, Everybody gets Alcantara-style material, even the people sitting in the third row. It's the simple things, guys, the simple things that adds up to the big picture. USB-Cs, you got a couple places here for some cupcakes. Have you guys ever had sprinkles? No, not just sprinkles. Sprinkles cupcakes. I had one the other day at the Austin airport. Pretty damn good and they drop right in. But why don't we go ahead, let's get that cargo area because I want to go on throttle in this TX350. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Just going to hit the button underneath the X. X marks the spot. Nice electric assist. What you're going to be greeted to is 20.9 cubic feet of space. That's a ton of room with the third row up. Now, you do have nice switch gear on the driver's side to put those seats down and watch. You have that great one-touch operation. I'm glad you don't have to keep your fingers there. You could put one down, you could put them both down. A little on the slow side, but what's great is, is as they fold down, you're getting more room. How much room are we getting? Now you're looking at 57.4 cubic feet of space. Fold the mid row down, and you're looking at 97 cubic feet of space. Now let's talk about what's going on here for a second. Here's those nice armrests I was telling you about with the stitching. You could see the USB-C back there and the power switch at the front there to power adjust the rear seat. And then you have that 60-40 split for the mid row. The great news is you go to Home Depot, you go to Lowe's, you get some uh, plywood, you could put sheets of plywood back here and they fit perfectly. Or let's just say you wind up getting kicked out of the house and you need somewhere to live, you could get yourself an inflatable mattress and put it back here and just live out of the back of your TX. But why don't we go ahead this one has the standard engine, but does it have a standard feel on the driving enjoyment? Let's go ahead, let's go on throttle in our TX350. All right guys, we are in this 2024 Lexus TX350. Now I'm glad to be able to show you many different trims, and especially this one, because I think that this is gonna be a volume seller, especially for those that maybe don't need or don't want all wheel drive you could get it front wheel drive, but you could still go luxury spec and have all the higher end appointments. Love the head up display. Getting to the infotainment system is well within reach. And it's nice to have an option that has a true eight speed automatic transmission. Seats feel good. The quality of the materials is on the up and up. And then of course you got the room. I mean, nobody's gonna argue with the room in this thing compared to other midsize SUVs. Now, where this comes up a little short is gonna be in the driving experience. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the four-cylinder turbo, but you gotta remember a lot of it also has to do that Mazda really does something special with the way they tune that driving engagement with their chassis, their suspension, and everything else. So. It's one of those things that Mazda does that very, very, very well. And you could feel that when you're behind the wheel of the two of them. Now, I'm not saying that this is a terrible driving experience. Let's, let's just get that out of the way. But you do know that you're operating a vehicle with a four cylinder engine compared to the straight six turbocharged engine. One thing that's very fascinating is that even though this is a four cylinder turbo, you would think that it doesn't have enough power to, to break traction with the front wheels, it does. So just be aware that when you go full on throttle, you are gonna get some chirping from the front tires and, and some slipping because it is front wheel drive. But the great news, like I said, you can get all wheel drive in this exact vehicle. 
all the storage spaces. Love the way they got the wireless charging right up top. The fact that they gave you three USB-Cs really shows that they understand what family needs are when it comes to technology and how, you know, everybody in your family, inc including your six month old newborn baby has a phone or an iPad that they're using and they're gonna need to charge it at some point. That's nice to have um, all of those inputs. I mean, it's got more connectivity. There's more technology in here than Circuit City had at any given moment when they used to be in, in business. But pulling away from the, the light, nice throttle operation. And what's great, I think the biggest thing I could stress in all of these TX Drive reviews is that this is a larger vehicle, but it doesn't feel like it when you're driving it. And I think that's the best part. Let's go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Eight speed drops down and we are off and running. So, like I said, you could definitely tell that there's a four cylinder turbocharged engine underneath the hood, but it does give you plenty of power. No doubt about that. Steering feel is great. You have all the safety technology in here, especially from Lexus. Lexus does it really well with their blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert. Um, and then you have things on special trims where you could get uh, traffic jam assist and everything in between. I think another thing you're gonna really enjoy is just the, the amount of space for everybody in here. It's not just the third row passengers that win, which they are the big winners because of all the room back there. But even sitting up front, it just is, it's very well laid out and very comfortable. And it's like where you think things should be is exactly where they should be. The one thing that is a little difficult is the blower fan, but I do like how Lexus actually allows you to touch the plus and minus on the screen. Everything else with the AC controls is physical. So you could do physical dual climate, separate the climate control, and you do have a physical knob for the volume of the music. But when it comes to blower fan, you do have to go in the infotainment system. But like I said, having the plus and minus be usable is great. And I think when you look at other vehicles, sometimes they have the plus and minus, but it doesn't do anything. So that doesn't make any sense to me. It's like you have to drag, and I don't like doing the drag sometimes because you're trying to pay attention to what's on the road. All right, guys, I'm gonna slow down here and we're gonna go on throttle. You ready? On throttle, here we go. The eight speed is responsive, smooth shifts. On the brakes into this left-hand bend. What's great is, is that with the dimensions of this TX, it really hugs the road well. And you do get good feedback to the wheel. It's just Mazda with the CX-90 does that driving experience a little bit more. And then of course, you could put it into manual shift mode like I just did pull back on the, on the shifter, on the electric shifter. And now I can actually use the paddle. So of second gear, on throttle, here we go. So nice to have those options when you're when you're when you're driving if you want to use the paddles and a lot of times it's not so much that somebody's trying to be a race car driver it has to do with maybe you're in uh an area where it's really hilly and you're towing something remember you could tow up to five thousand pounds it's nice to be able to choose what gear you want to be in especially when you're coming down the mountain and 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 also of course going up because to come down you do have to go up but you could hear, like I said, the buzziness of the engine. I wish they could have cleaned up that sound a little bit that's coming into the cabin. But still, quite impressive what they're doing with this smaller displacement engine. And this is the same engine that's in the Highlander, um, also the Grand Highlander. So you are getting that crossover, of course, between Lexus and Toyota. All right, guys, we're gonna get out onto the highway a little bit to just really show the cruising potential of this vehicle, especially for being that mid-size ultimate family hauler. But as you can see, driving in traffic, it, it's easy to navigate around people. It's easy to know where, uh, you know, the dimensions of the vehicle are. And that really is what makes driving this very, very simple. 
I think what's really nice about this vehicle is when you are in a high traffic situation, you have all these amenities and the comfort to keep you cool so that you're not getting into a road rage situation or you're not just getting frustrated, period. It's a great environment to be sitting in and it really helps shut out the outside world with the great sound ending, the chassis, and the suspension. But I'm hoping that this has been a good overall review of what specifically the TX350 brings to the table. We're gonna get back to where this all started and wrap it up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a fun day out here in Austin, Texas. I definitely wanna thank the whole Lexus USA team getting us access to this all new TX350. Let me know what you think. For the money, would you go TX350 or are you gonna go Mazda CX-90? Let me know down in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Follow him on Instagram. Thank you, Stephen, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.